Today we're going to learn how to bathe a dog. So get your dog, get your doggy shampoo, and we're ready to go. Hello, I'm Renee with Modern Homemakers, and today I'm going to show you how to bathe a dog. We have Wizard here, and he's going to be our the star of this video. Um, Wizard is going to be 13 this year, so in dog years, he's, he's heading up to his 90s pretty soon. Um, this is a way to save some money um, because, you know, I figure why waste money on taking a dog to have a bath? It's something you can so easily do at home. So whenever you're filling the bathtub, make sure that you don't fill it too deep, like to the dog's belly, um, just, you know, just barely to the dog's belly. And this is a great opportunity to clean your bathtub. So make sure, you know, do this when your bathtub is dirty and disgusting. Clean the dog and then you have no choice. You have to clean your bathtub after that. <laughs> First off, you're going to need some some dog shampoo. Don't use your own shampoo because they're, you know, the pH balance of the dog shampoo is specifically for their skin. It's easier on their skin. You're going to get the water temperature, you know, just like when you're giving a baby a bath, you know, just make sure that that water is, is warm but not too hot or too cold. So Wizard's old. He's, um, in human years, he's going to be 90 this year, so. But he's been having dog shampoo. Uh, I've been giving him baths and feeds the puppy, so he's used to this. Now, he doesn't care for a spray. He got kind of freaks him out like a hose type thing, so I just use a cup and get him wet. Careful around the face. I'm not going to pour this over his face because that kind of freaks him out. I don't use a big washcloth because he's he's small, so I just a piece of a cut off like a sleeve of a t-shirt is real soft, and that's what I generally use. So I put the shampoo on his back. Don't shake. Pretty generous amount, because like I said, he's he smells like a corn chip. And rub in the back first. So if you start giving your dog bath whenever they're younger, then they'll be used to it and they won't be freaked out by it. I always get this is lathered up real good on the back and then on the face. I like to kind of leave this stuff soaking in a little bit and then it's going to make him smell better. Just kind of around his face. Don't get it in his eyes. Now Wizard gets a, a rash on his feet. He's kind of like allergic to the grass but I have found one thing you can do is give him a bath and that gets the oils from those uh, plants off of them and he doesn't get the rash. So in between things, I will just use like a baby wipe on his feet. Like every day when he goes for his walk, I wipe his feet off with that baby wipe and he never gets that rash anymore. Because like the vet was telling me, I'll give him a Benadryl every day, um, which I didn't really want to do. And then I discovered the thing with the baby wipe. So if your dog gets rashes on on their feet, which I know a lot of dogs do, or on their belly. Um, just wipe, off, wipe them off every day and that probably won't happen anymore. Um, on the feet, make sure that you're getting in between the little pads because that, that gets real sore. So you want to make sure that you're cleaning that well. Come on, one more foot, buddy. Stop. And then a little, get a little personal, get those areas too. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start rinsing. And like I said, if your dog might not mind a sprayer, he does not like a sprayer. So I always just do a, a, a plastic glass. Kind of splash them in there, get the belly. I never put it on his face because I just know him and I know that freaks him out. So I just, with that cloth rinsed, I go over his eyes. Now the wizard is so old that he is actually blind. Um, he has cataracts on his eyes. 
And then I kind of get it inside his ears too. He has n never had um, that infection in the ears that a lot of dogs get. So I think if you keep it clean, and one thing that helps with that is just the type of breed. He's a rat terrier, and since their ears go up, they don't get that. They're not as prone to getting that. All right, so we're done with the bath portion, and now we're gonna dry him off. So I, t I just keep old sets of towels that I use for him. Oh, and as far as how often, dogs don't need a bath real often. All right, we're gonna lift him up. Come on, buddy. Yeah, you try to get him covered before he does that. That's kind of like an irresistible thing. They have to, they have to shake. Um, anyway, honestly, he only gets a bath about once a month. But in between, I use a dry spray shampoo and I just do it um, at, the, at the beginning of each month and that's the same day that I give him his once a month pill for fleas and worms um, prevention. And so I just kind of do those things at the same time that way I remember that I've got it done. All right, so after, you know, I'm gonna try to get him good and dry. Try to not let him run around the house too much, although he does like to run around a little, little crazy after his bath. Then I like to put a little uh, doggy cologne, doggy deodorant on, just, you know, for the sensibilities of everyone in the, everyone's noses. They like it when everyone has this on. Just a little spray. Couldn't really see it. <laughs> they have lots of different brands of this, so this is just one brand, but... I'll have to see your pet supply store. Um, his own special brush, because obviously you don't want to be using your brush on him. Um, I never use this this side. This side is for like a dog with long hair. I just use the soft side on him. And I actually kind of brush it around and get that loose hair off. So we're brushing both directions to begin with to loosen up some of that hair. So, you know, maybe it won't be on your black pants. Or on your couch and this could be done this brushing could be done throughout the month you know with the dry shampoo <laughs> it's making him scratch his back and there will be lots of hair on your towel when you get done with this all right he's all done he smells good um, next, I'm going to trim his nails, so if you want to watch that video, um, if you want to learn to trim your dog's nails, I'm going to do that next.